a dream I know Deep up my feelings for you all right my wonderful people welcome back to my wonderful channel reality that is just your home of news and politics thank you so much for joining us if today is your first time of watching kindly subscribe like comment share but don't forget to turn the notification bell to get notified whenever we drop our video to all amazing subscribers thank you so much for joining us my people are being the governorship election that have been conducted in Edo State on september 21st 2024 hey kata kata never ceased to stop <laughs> I've been the commercial election. Now the people are saying that there are some lessons from the Obasik and Ihodalo defeat in Edo State. On the political dining table, betrayal is a ready-made cuisine. Some politicians easily serve their trusted allies and supporters. In one breath, we can say that betrayal is the politician's reason, the ether, as the French would have it. Anyone in that of the trusting of the above should check out the scenario around the just concluded conspiration in the state. Governor Gordon Robasiki is the stock market guru. <laughs> Turned into a politician by former Governor Adam Soshumole, who is now a senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, representing the North. After the former Labour leader had succeeded in installing Governor Gordon Robasiki as his successor in 2016, things turned overboard sharply between them such that by 2020 when it was re-election time adam sushumule had become obasiki's conk enemy he was forced to adopt the man who flew the flag of the pdp in 2016 election whom he had demolized before edo voters osa gezinyamu adam sushumule was said to have concluded that Governor Gordon Robasiki had to be flushed out of the Edo government house on account of alleged failure to keep the former governor's legacies intact. In the 2020 scenario, Adam Tushmane was well positioned to determine Governor Gordon Robasiki's fate in the All Progressive Congress. So the sitting governor was rejected in the primaries. Though, as Governor Gordon Robasiki lost his bid to win APC's governorship ticket to guarantee himself a second term in office, stories started flying here and there. Political historians made quick comparison between his situation and that of two governors of his era who had suffered a similar fate. The story then was like Chuoke Mbadinudu of Anambra State in 2003 and like Obaseki and like Mala Kachela of Borno State also in 2003. Kachala and Madudinudu was two governors who were denied a second term in office by political godfather at the start of the fourth republic the offenses said to have been committed by the duo were similar to allegations leveled against governor Gordon Basiki by adam sochumbele's camp in 2020 it all had to do with the alleged betrayal of the godfathers courts so it was a claim that in line with the sense in the globally acknowledged saying which indicate that betrayal is the politician's reason the etter Governor Godwin Obasiki had entered office and wasted no time on doing several policies in predecessor head dearly. So Adam Tushule waited for payback time in 2020 and he asserted his authority on the primary process. With Obasiki out in the code and with political oblivion looking the more realistic for him, many had thought that he was set to follow the infamous imprint earlier chattered by the duo of Kachala and Madinoju. Those who stiff with their godfathers. But the leadership of People Democratic Party in Edo State decided to pay a fast one. Led by incumbent national vice chairman outside of the party, Chief Dan Obe. The PDP decided that it was better to provide ropes for an unraveled Obaseki who was already occupying the government house. The PDP reasoned that giving Obaseki ticket in 2020 was more or less victory assured. The man was already in the saddle and could swing the Fabo incumbency factor in his favor. But there was a big river to cross. The PDP had already picked Honorable Omoroge Wedinyama, a two-term member of the House of Representatives who represented the popular Oredo constituency as his preferred candidate before the APC death of Baseki, a fatal blow. <laughs> What's to be done? or be literally other leaders of the party and coordinated with then governor of river state in yes to break a deal obasuke would be allowed to fly the pdp's flag while the wedding yama was to be assured of a shot at the government house after obasuke attempt to make a wedding yama obasuke running mate 
were rebuffed. As the governor had insisted, he wanted to run with Philip Shaibo, his deputy. So it looked like a firmly sealed envelope and the PDP leaders put their all in the campaign. The setup of that election was unique. Osage Ezeyamu, who was defeated by your governor, Gordon Robaseki, when he flew PDB tickets in 2016, had become APC anointed in the build up to the 2020 election as the two candidates swap party for the famous rematch. At the end of the election, Obaseki triumphed over the chosen candidate of his estranged political godfather, Adam Sushimole. But no one was left to guess for too long as to whether the saying of the elders will come through again as regards Obaseki and the relationship with those who you might call PDP gurus. Not long after he won the election, controversy started emanating as to the formation of the cabinet and the running of the party structure. The situation was, however, patched up until the build up to the 2020 general election, when nothing could be kept under the table anymore. It appeared as if the PDP was having a repeat of the kind of controversy that played out between Adam Sushimole and Governor Gordon Obaseke. Accusation of betrayal leading to loss of faith filled the air. Everywhere was ominous, the ground and the air. And just as Obaseki fell out with Adam Toshimbele and the APC, he again lost the confidence of PDP leaders who had in 2020 ensured that they clothed his nakedness in the marketplace. As the general election drew closer, Obaseki raised candidates to rival those of the mainstream PDP. The party leaders were more than drilled. Somehow, the candidates he fielded for the national election were accepted by the National Secretariat of the PDP and further endorsed by the court. The development led to big inroad for the Labour Party and the APC in the February 25th election as the two parties shared the National Assembly position in the state for the first time since 1999. But Governor Gordon rallied to win the House of Assembly seat for the party in the state election that followed on March 18, 2023, with Chief Danobi, the Deputy Governor Philip Shaibo, PDP anointed candidate for the 2020 election, who stepped down for Obasiki, Obwede Yama, and ordered notable teaming up to form the legacy group, which shows their displeasure at Obasiki's politics. It was clear that the feeling of betrayal had gone full circle, and the combatants are red at the city gates. As I so said, the result of the general sense of rejection among established politicians in Edo State was delivered to Governor Gordon Basike and the PDP candidate in the September 21st election. But as we heard alone, the PDP candidate happened to be the victim of a battle he did not ignite. Therefore, Governor Gordon Basike, it is a big lesson to learn. Generally, they can see that we are politicians self made of betrayal and get to score some points, as they also saw in Shakespeare Julius Caesar. If fatal consequences could be afoot, it is dangerous to allow many wars on different fronts. Allowing all your enemies to converge on familiar spots could prove disastrous. In the build up to that election, the roll call of Obaseki's opponent was Stop Heavy Nido North and Nido South Senatorial District, which was a dangerous signal. And it shows in the results. Though the PDP had claimed that all hope was not lost. At they are set to challenge the outcome of the poll in court. The results, as declared by the Independent National Electoral Commission, must have profoundly hit the smooth talking lawyers, as we heard of, like a baptism of fire. Whatever the outcome of the expected legal fire works, the governor, Governor Basiki, and Ihodalo versus Edo politician, talk of war has taught them it is dangerous for one man to challenge his entire clan into a resting match. I would like to know your thoughts, your contributions, your opinions in our comment section. I would love to hear from you once again. Thank you so much for staying to us. On this note, we have come to the end of today's segment. Like, comment, what next? Bye for now.